are having a great day. In this video, we are going to talk about when you should work out while doing intermittent fasting to get the best results possible, meaning lose the most amount of weight, gain the most muscle, get in the best shape you've ever been in, and it's going to be pretty quick. So I'm going to make this nice and simple. Stay with me. And uh, first, let's just throw this up, get it out of the way. And I'm going to start out by giving you a rundown of what I did with intermittent fasting in order to lose approximately 50 pounds within about a two to three month span. So first of all, I'm going to let you know that I did intermittent fasting every single day for three months uh, with no breaks. And my fasting minimum time was about 16 hours. And then the maximum I would go up to would be a 20 hour fast, which means I would have a four hour eating window. Usually within that four hour eating window, uh, when I would go that extreme, I would squeeze in probably two to four meals. So during that four hours, I would pretty much be eating almost the entire time. If it was two meals, I didn't necessarily have to eat the entire time. But um, the thing about intermittent fasting, and here's the point I want to make about gaining muscle, is that you really need to ensure that you're eating adequate uh, macronutrients, micronutrients, so you're getting the proper, you're hitting your proper macronutrient numbers, which is your protein, carbs, and fats, and your, especially on the protein side, if you're looking to gain muscle and you're, you're not consuming enough protein, you're going to be deficient. That's one of the biggest things I find when people do intermittent fasting is like they starve themselves. See, intermittent fasting isn't starving yourself, okay? It, but these people will starve themselves. And, and when I say that, it's because they don't really eat properly during the eating window. So basically, you're fasting, you're not eating, you're drinking lots of water. And then once your eating window comes, you're just simply not consuming the proper amount of food, protein, carbs, fat. So it's really, really, really important that you eat properly during your eating window in order to actually see the results. But here's what I want to talk about in particular on this video is when should you train when doing intermittent fasting? So a lot of people will message me, uh, and I've gotten you know thousands of comments about this, but people ask when to do it. Should they do it in the morning, uh, midday, uh, the evenings, the afternoons? And a lot of people, it varies depending on your schedule, your work schedule, your life schedule. If you have kids, you got to take them to school, you got to take them to classes, you got to take them to sports things, you know, whatever it may be. And you got to work your schedule around that. However, there's a general rule, and I mentioned it in my uh, intermittent fasting five golden rules video going back a few years now. Now, there is a general rule that you should want uh, try to work out in the evening time. So I personally suggest that you fast. So you basically will have your, your last meal um, you're going to eat your food after your workout. Now, a lot of people will, will suggest to eat your food before your workout. So you basically will, you're getting into your eating window, you're having your first meal, you finish your first meal, and then you go do your workout. And now you have uh, glycogen deposits and whatnot in order to use it and have uh, energy for that workout. That's fine. That's, that's all fine and dandy. My only beef with that is that when you do that, you're working out and you're basically going into the food that you just consumed to use that for energy. When I'm, I find it to be more effective when you are burning your stored fat deposits for energy during that workout. And then you're going to wait until after your training session to consume your first meal and break fast, open up your eating window and you're going to start eating until you go to sleep. So if you're interested in trying intermittent fasting, you haven't done it before, or if you've tried it and you haven't seen that much results from it, what I suggest doing is, Eat your last meal before bed, maybe an hour or so before bed. Go to bed, wake up, don't eat anything. Okay, chew some gum if you need to. You know, the flavorless gum or you know, like a five cal gum or something like that. You're not going to spike insulin or anything crazy with that. Have some tea. Don't put anything in the tea. Just have some basic tea. Green tea is nice. Um, or have some lemon water. That's really nice as well. But basically, you're going to take it really easy in the morning, and you're just going to consume lots of water throughout the day. If you feel hungry. Pick up a glass of water and have some water. That's really all I can offer up for you uh, in terms of advice. What I suggest you also take, and these are very important uh, if you're interested in actually building muscle and actually noticing some improvements in your physique. You want to try taking a BCAA, which are branched chain amino acids, unflavored. I'm going to put stuff up on the screen here so you can see it. Unflavored BCAA, because you're not going to spike your insulin with that, but you're definitely going to give yourself the necessary amino acids to support recovery from your training session and even give yourself energy during that training session. So branched chain amino acids, creatine, uh, generally monohydrate is going to be good for you, but you can, you can go with a, a mix. Um, I'll, again, I'll put it up on the screen. So creatine and glutamine, something else that's really important and it's going to help uh, support your recovery, support your muscular development, and now to, to summarize this whole thing, the reason why I think you should be working out at night 
basically in the evening time. So it doesn't necessarily have to be at like night night, but basically you want to do it before you break fast. So you're finishing your work day, maybe you're going to start eating around like, uh, or you're going to start working out about 5 or 6 p.m. Work out for an hour or two and you're going to start eating around 8 p.m. And you got 8 until 12, I'm just throwing out some numbers here, to your four hour eating window. But basically you're going to want to work out fasted. I want you to start that workout with cardio. Five to ten minutes is okay, warm up. Maybe you want to do a 15 minute warm up. But once you get towards the end of your, your warm up cardio, I want you to steadily increase the speed on the, uh, if you're doing a treadmill or if you're running or anything like that, I want you to increase the intensity. So start out nice and slow, take it easy, you know, you're just getting started, you're fasted, you're kind of like, you know, feeling good, feeling refreshed, you drink tons of water, okay? I'm on a treadmill right now, imaginary treadmill. So you're doing that, and now all of a sudden, you're at the five minute mark, you crank up the speed, okay? 10 minute mark, you crank up the speed, and you're going, okay? You're just burning, burning, burning. When you've done your 15 minute cardio warm up, you're gonna go and you're gonna do some, some lifting after that, or whatever your workout may be. Um, you know, you can do a whole bunch of different things. After you're done your workout, you're gonna go and you're gonna do some cool down cardio. Five minutes, nice and slow. If you want, you can go 10 minutes. But keep it at the slow pace. You don't need to increase it at this point. You can actually decrease it as you go. So if you're at a six right now, five minutes, boom, five minutes done, you take down to a four. Okay? So that's what I suggest doing. Uh, workout in the evening times. Do it before you break fast, before you take your first meal. Start with warm-up cardio. End with cool-down cardio. Take creatine, BCAA, glutamine. And the reason why it's great to work out in the evening is because you're you're going to get the best weight loss benefits. You're going to experience the most benefits during the evening times because of your sleep cycles. You're going to lose the most weight because you're doing uh, the exercising and you're taking the food before bed during your, your eating window. And then because of your sleep cycle, basically during the, the nighttime, you're going to be continuously burning fat. You're going to wake up and you're going to start the whole thing again. You're going to feel great. So check out my Instagram here if you want to. I've I post results constantly on there, and if you have questions, just shoot me a message there, let me know. I'm more than happy to help and more than happy to answer your questions. I'm going to keep pumping out more videos into this intermittent fasting series because I get lots of questions, and rather than individually addressing each one, I'm just going to make a whole slew of videos for you guys and gals, and I hope it helps you. Give this video a thumbs up if it does. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. Hit that share. All that good stuff. And I'll catch you again in the next one. Thank you.